look at all these images i hope you are able to understand one thing which is common in this is tarnished metals right they are poor quality and why the quality is poor because they are corroded so hi i am neha and in this video i am going to tell you what is corrosion all about corrosion is basically the process of destruction or damage of a metal from its surface due to unwanted chemical or electrochemical interaction of metal with the environment so here one thing is very clear that the reaction of metal and the environment the metal is going to react with uh, the environment and this reaction is obviously unwanted and the reaction could happen in two manner either the chemical or electrochemical and because of that reaction the property of metal gets destroyed there is a destruction of the property of metal that process is known as corrosion and in a similar manner in a similar word you may call it as reverse of extraction of metal i'll tell you how it is reverse let us go ahead with the basics that how does it occur because metal occurs in the nature in two state so how does corrosion occur there are two types of metal one are native that means they are free and they are in uncombined state normally noble metals are found like this they are non reactive so you can uh, found them in a native state but there are certain metals which are highly reactive and since they are highly reactive they are always found in a combined state they react with the environment and they form either ore or mineral so metal is in basically two states a native state and combined state now how does a corrosion occur basically when the metal is in the native state means you have extracted the metal from the metallic compound you may call it uh, call it as a ore also so when you are extracting the metal from the ore what are you doing you are supplying energy to it and you are getting the metal so when you are extracting the process is known as metallurgy right this is the process from where if you take a ore and you want to extract iron from it you have to add the energy now imagine if you add the energy iron uh, or the metal comes at the higher energy state and this is at the lower energy state i hope you understand that when it is at higher energy state then thermodynamically it is unstable and when the metal becomes unstable it has a tendency to go to the stable state now how it's going to go back to the stable state obviously it reacts with the environment and that reaction is known as corrosion because it reacts with the environment and it gets converted to the metallic compound or the ore or any kind of compound in order to go back to its original lower energy state or the stable state so in order to achieve that stability it undergoes a reaction with the environment and that reaction is corrosion because that is unwanted why because corroded metal is however thermodynamically more stable but then because of that useful properties of metal are lost so that's the reason behind uh, corrosion and that's how you call it as reverse of extraction of metal because that is what extraction of metal and corrosion is reverse of it i hope it's clear now coming to the effects of corrosion there are various effects of the corrosion but to list them a few uh, you can see that the very first one would be the loss of useful properties and especially appearance then there'll be loss in safety and reliability of the product the product contamination occurs due to which the corroded equipment need to be replaced or the entire machine gets shut down or you have to take some preventive measures in order to uh, reduce the corrosion overall because of these your cost uh, factor get increased so maintenance cost is there production cost is there and also corrosion releases toxic product and there is always a health concern so the looking wise it's gone uh, internal properties wise it's gone and obviously health wise also it's not acceptable so let us go ahead with what are the factors which generally influence corrosion uh, the first uh, factor obviously uh, nature of metal right and the second factor is nature of the environment since because metal is reacting with the environment so there are obviously two things metal and environment now first we look on to the metal uh, what they say is first is position in the galvanic series the position in the galvanic series means when the two metals or alloys are in electrical contact and then there is presence of electrolyte so obviously the more active metal gets 
uh, like which is higher in the series suffers corrosion. So you should not have greater difference uh, in the galvanic series. Otherwise, there will be faster corrosion. So first thing is that. Second thing is over voltage. Over voltage, basically you have to maintain a reduction in the over voltage not reduction in fact reduction in the over voltage of the corroding metal accelerates the corrosion rate so we have to ensure that there is no reduction in the over voltage okay, normally what happens is when metal occupies a high position in the galvanic series and is placed in some solution it undergoes corrosion uh, forming the film and evolving hydrogen gas and that's because of the high over voltage of the other metal which basically reduces the uh, effective potential to small value so what you have to ensure is that this over voltage uh, reduction should not happen coming to uh, relative areas of anodic and cathodic part i hope you remember it was uh, mentioned that the corrosion is more uh, rapid and severe and highly localized if anodic areas is small so we have to ensure that the anodic area is not much small or in fact uh, the uh, proportionality of the ratio of areas is there because if the anodic area is small more localized attack will happen in the coming videos we'll discuss them uh, in detail one by one purity of metal yes uh, in wet corrosion if you see heterogeneity measure uh, matters a lot if the metal is not pure and it's heterogeneous then what happens is there is generation of anodic area cathodic area because of that heterogeneity and then there is generation of electrochemical set so metal has to be pure and if it is impure then there are chances of uh, electrochemical corrosion physical state of metal that also is important that like uh, we have to see that if it is grain size how is that if the grain size is, is smaller of the metal then greater would be its solubility and then greater would be the corrosion so we have to ensure uh, that uh, how about the physical state of the metal then coming to the next one which is nature of uh, the surface film yes of course it happens like when uh, the metal is there and then it uh, get corroded and the surface film is formed now this surface film will decide further corrosion will take place or not in the next video i would be covering dry corrosion in detail where i'll discuss four types of film nature and you'll be able to understand that the nature of the surface film will decide that further corrosion will take place or not if it allows oxygen to go into then further corrosion will take place if it does not then no also pelling bedworth rule i am going to discuss in the coming videos uh, that gives you the major answer that the layer would be protective or not coming to the next one which is the passivity of metal so a uh, metal has to be like reactive and metal has to be passive right there are two natures so we have to ensure that the film which is formed is you know uh, self healing uh, it has to have a higher corrosion uh, resistance so the uh, passive nature passive uh, passivating uh, nature of metal is highly expected then solubility of corrosion products again that is a type of like in electrochemical corrosion if you see if the corrosion product is basically soluble in the medium then the corrosion will proceed at a faster rate so we have to see that if the corrosion product is insoluble in the medium or soluble in the medium and the third uh, next one is volatility of corrosion product obviously if the corrosion product is volatile that also i'll discuss in the dry corrosion but if the uh, metallic surface which is formed is volatile it volatilizes away and then the fresh surface is available for attack it also gets corroded at the top it also volatilizes and the fresh surface is available so ultimately the metal gets corroded till end so volatility of corrosion product also is a factor that is all about metal let us go ahead with the factors influencing corrosion second type how about the environment how does it affect so the first and uh, foremost is the temperature if the increase in the temperature is there then obviously the reaction and the diffusion rate increases and so the corrosion rate will also get enhanced second is humidity of air if humidity is there then you have to ensure critical humidity if it is present then it will add the moisture to the environment and if the moisture is present then obviously electrochemical uh, cell development may take place and also 
लाइक रेन वाटर इज देयर और मे बी द मॉइस्चर हैज कम ड्यू टू एनी वे बेसिकली दैट एटमोसफियर विल फर्दर गिव द अटैक टू द ऑक्साइड फिल्म so that's a problem so basically uh, you have to ensure that the humidity is very less otherwise water presence would be there and electrochemical cell corrosion takes place presence of impurities in atmosphere of course other than the oxygen if other gases are there like co2 or h2s or there so2 is there or fumes of hcl or h2so4 is there in presence of these gases the acidity of liquid increases and that increases electrical conductivity and obviously the corrosion will speed up in in fact dry corrosion this is one of the point that other impurities are also present in the atmosphere now these are the impurities in atmosphere but there could be suspended particles also in the atmosphere like in case of atmospheric corrosion if the suspended particles uh, like are chemically active in nature Uh, let's say sometimes be like sodium chloride is there or ammonium sulfate is there what they do they absorb moisture and then they act as a strong electrolyte and they enhance the corrosion so there should not be suspended particles present in the atmosphere coming to the next one is effect of ph obviously if it is acidic or if it is basic or neutral that is going to affect generally what happens is acidic media are more corrosive uh, than that of uh, basic or neutral media so you have to ensure that the ph is not increased then coming to effect of ions in the media it depends on the nature of ions present like uh, certain ions like silicate uh, is there fine so if silicate is present uh, in the medium it leads to the formation of insoluble reaction product example silica gel so that inhibits further corrosion on the other hand if chloride ions are present in the medium they'll destroy the protective layer and there by the metal will be exposed again this layer would be uh, destroyed and the metal will be freshly exposed to the atmosphere again so that increases corrosion coming to the last one is conductance of the corroding medium obviously if the conductance of the corroding medium is high or is more is going to accelerate the corrosion uh, say for example conductance of dry and sandy soil is lower than those of clay and mineralized soil so uh, the damage to the metallic structure buried under clay soil or mineralized soil would be more obviously than that of dry soil then last one is formation of oxygen concentration cell oxygen concentration cell means with the increase in the supply of oxygen so some areas become poor oxygenated where they have less access to the oxygen and that area becomes anodic so we have to ensure that there is no difference in the concentration of oxygen otherwise one area will have good excess of oxygen other area will not have good excess of oxygen and that area will become anodic these things i'm going to discuss in detail in the coming videos with different types of corrosion right and apart from this there are other factors also like flow velocity of the process steam or maybe polarization of electrodes and all but that's all i guess uh, with respect to the factors influencing corrosion uh, next i would be coming up uh, with a different different types of corrosion in detail so i hope you have understood the basic of corrosion till now and uh, do mention in comment if you want uh, me to cover anything extra and thank you for uh, liking the comment uh, liking the video and please do subscribe for more such videos and do guide me uh, which topic you would like me to cover thank you so much